this segment we're going to be taking the motor and speed control assembly and altering it to uh, interface with the new Masso computer control system. The few things we have to do with the speed control in order for the computer to actually take control of your, uh, of your drive motor. First and foremost, turn the power switch off and remove this from the wall. Uh, we don't need anybody fried. Next, you'll need your T-handle, a small Phillips, a small flat blade, a needle nose plier, and either a half inch, a 13 millimeter, or a small crescent wrench. The first thing you want to do is open it up and actually remove the speed control from the actual assembly. This should be familiar for changing belt speeds. What you want to do is pop the little hinges off, just like that. That allows you to get to the bottom. Take your small Phillips screwdriver and remove the four Phillips screws holding the retaining plate on. Don't lose them, they're tiny and they disappear in carpeting. And just set those aside. Now the easiest way to get the actual speed control out of here is I take the 1032 bolt that, that holds the, the cover on and thread it right into the speed control. Just a couple turns, allows you to pull it right out. Boom, just like that. Now what we're going to be removing is the potentiometer. Flat blade screwdriver, there's a little screw in the side of the, side of the knob. Loosen it, remove the knob, won't be needing that. Loosen the nut carefully. And push it out. Now we have it out, just like that. And you take your needle nose plier and very, very carefully just wiggle them off. Hold on to it nice and tight and just wiggle them off so nothing gets broken or pulled apart. And set that aside, no longer used. Okay, now those three terminals are labeled P1, P2, and P3. This is what goes in place of the potentiometer. This connects directly into the massa board. These wires are very, very specific. Do not, absolutely do not mix these wires up because if you do, you will not only blow uh, the speed control, but you will do severe damage to the masso control itself. These have to be in exact order. Very simple, black, red, and white. P1 is for the black. P2 is red. And P3 is white. Make sure those are nice and seated if you need to use the needle nose pliers to seat them. Again, just wiggle as you push. You get them seated all the way down. Just like that. Now to route this, what you'll want to do is remove the little um, cord retainer from the actual power cord and kind of get this as close as you can and fish it in with the power cord. It's a snug fit, but it will go in. If you need to, you can use a screwdriver on the little shelf on the retainer and just push it all the way down. Only a little bit will stick out and that's fine. And then 
just carefully put the speed control back in. Remove the, the bolt and get your retaining plate on and make sure you get it the right side up because on the back side they're actually uh, for a flathead screw so you want to get those oriented correctly. Snug these down, don't over tighten these, it's just in plastic. If you tighten too much, you will just strip them out. And then go ahead and reorient the hinge pins. Like that, flip over the other one. Put your Speed control retaining bolt back in. Tighten it down. And the finishing touch. A little button in the hole and you're done. Ready to connect to your Maso computer.